hello everyone uh, i just created this video to demonstrate how we can use a mentimeter within powerpoint uh, this is a two step process uh, step one you need to uh, sign up if you haven't signed up yet or log in to mentimeter and uh, once you have logged in to mentimeter uh, you can go to the powerpoint and click on insert add-ins so within the add-ins if you search for mentimeter click search you will find the mentimeter interactive presentations here and you can simply add it once you add it you will find it here within your add-ins so whenever you want to use Mentimeter, you just need to click here, click on add and you will have Mentimeter within your PowerPoint slide. After this step, we go back to Mentimeter and create a presentation. You can call it a sample presentation. And then you will get all the different options so suppose I want to include a multiple choice question how are you feeling today good fine not sure Okay, so as you can see all these three options have come up here now every time you create a slide you get a link here on the top so you just need to copy this link and paste it within your presentation so once you do that the question will come up as a part of your presentation so as you can see here the same question can be seen here there is a link and there is a code on the top and how this will work uh, suppose I log on to www.menti.com as a participant and I use the same code 7 Okay, two six zeros this is what your students will see and do so if I select good and submit this will reflect on the presentation here so you can see it in real time uh, how the students respond on Mentimeter and then once you add another slide and choose a different question Suppose I say, what do you think the word substitution means? Okay. Again, for this new slide, a new link is generated. So you can just copy the link, create a new slide. Again, go to your add ins, add Mentimeter. You can change the layout. Okay, and just make it a full slide. You can just add the link here select and the new question will come up here it just takes a few seconds so now every time a student responds you will see the response here so the best thing again about mentimeter is first of all the students are participating in real time Secondly, when you save the presentation, these responses stay as part of the presentation. And uh, thirdly, you can also, uh, there is one which I had already done. You can also download 
uh, the student responses so if you have any presentation you can just export the results so the results are available in different forms in excel in presentation in the forms of screenshots so i hope you find this a video useful